Hello there. Hey guys, been a while, right? Today, I'm finally back with another rig time showcase of a tactical rig featuring the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, or Boomkaka 4K is abbreviated, and the DJI RS3 Pro, with an emphasis on a game changing twist that the RS3 focus motor and a key component from Zyte bring to the table. Let's get started. So as a quick disclaimer, I am not currently an affiliate of any of the manufacturers of any of the gear featured in this video. That may change sooner or later, but even when that happens, I'll remain critical of featured products where needed. Let's proceed. So as I'm sure you all know, the Pocket 4K can be a royal pain in the ass to balance nicely on a gimbal, even one so robust as the DJI RS2, 3, or 3 Pro. Biggest obstacle being external power solutions to keep the camera alive preferably for at least a few hours per charge. And it always seems to come at the cost of more weight being added to the head of the gimbal. That's why I'm calling this region, while down here is the base of the gimbal. If we need to add components that add weight, the most ideal placement is down here at the base, keeping the payload up at the head as minimal as possible for maximum stabilization performance and peak battery power efficiency. Now, some of you may be familiar with this key component from Zyte, this LPE6 dummy to DJI coated USB-C cable. Obviously, as the name suggests, this dummy and cable are meant to draw a constant current of 7.2 to 8 volts of power from the gimbal directly, but at the cost of one of the three ports at the head of the gimbal that are meant for either camera control, focus or zoom motor control, or Raveneye wireless HD transmission. One of these critical functions would be sacrificed if you didn't want to add more weight by means such as the tilt-up pass-through power plate with a V or gold mount battery, which also forces you to awkwardly relocate the Raven Eye to another spot. Well, thanks to the RS3 focus motor, this crap ends now. As you can see, the RS3 focus motor features not one, but two USB-C ports originally with the intention of daisy chaining from one motor to another in case you need both a focus motor and a zoom motor as well as interaction with their lidar autofocus system naturally upon seeing this i had to test the theory and sure enough it worked the focus motor shares a constant of 7.8 to 8 volts with ease both when it's sitting still as well as when it's being adjusted by the finger wheel Mind you, throughout the remainder of this video, you'll probably notice that I have this motor connected with the cables with magnetic adapters. This is to prevent wear and tear that would naturally come from constantly connecting and disconnecting the USB-C cables from the ports altogether. Now naturally, if you were to run this solution off the default form factor of the RS3 or RS2 with only the BG grip powering everything, it'd run out of the juice mad quick. But with either Tilta's dual hand power supply bracket, as I have here, or the advanced ring system, you can easily slap on a 99 watt hour V or gold mount and keep the entire rig running strong for several hours. Based on my first admittedly limited test, I would estimate about 3.5 to 5 hours per charge. That's the combination of the 30 watt hours from the BG30 grip and the 99 from the VMA. Not a bad amount of time to run before cycling batteries. And there we have it. No more excessive bulk at the head of our gimbal with the Pocket 4K. Now while Zyte manufactures a variety of these coated dummy batteries for many other brand models including Fuji, Canon, Sony, etc. Just be warned that the NPF battery is unable to sufficiently power the Blackmagic 6K Pro for some reason, likely to do with amperage more than voltage. The Amazon link for the Zyte LPE6 is down below and the others are not hard to find there either, at least the ones that actually are on Amazon right now. The rest that are not are on Zyte's website, which will also be linked down below as well. Just take note that ordering from Zyte's website will take about two weeks, which really sucks, but eh, what can you do? Also, I wanna point out one more key component that seems to have slipped under many other influencer radars. I really don't know how, as Tilta really marketed the hell out of their RS2, RS3 ecosystem, but this plate right here for $20 will attach to the bottom of your camera or more likely your cage with multiple screws, preventing the twisting and loosening of your camera from the base slash plate, as well as provide you more horizontal room for aligning your camera as you see fit. Simple but critical. And honestly, everyone should know about this 
two years ago. Another key component to this rig is this plate right here that is attached and fastened on using an M4 and a 1 4 size screw right to the DJI tethered control handle dongle right here. This helps prevent the right hand side of the dual hand support bracket from popping off over at the joint here as some other influencers have noted tends to happen to them. So hope this was helpful for those of you who actually are filmmakers following us and hope it was enjoyable for those of you who prefer to sit back, spectate, and enjoy our work. Till next time, may the force be with you and the sequels are not real.